Media from around the world are going all out to cover South Korean President Moon Jae-in's every move on the day of the inter-Korean summit. And while the media can't go to Panmunjom, they're getting as close as possible to the talks. Our Kim mo provides a closer look into what could be observed at the Unification Bridge. It was a brief moment, but it left a lasting impression. Numerous media outlets from South Korea and around the world flocked to the Unification Bridge to capture the symbolic moment when the president of South Korea crossed the bridge on his way to Panmunjom to meet his North Korean counterpart for the inter-Korean summit. The Unification Bridge is the official land route that has connected the two Koreas for the past two decades. Many preparations have been made with the hope that the bridge can once again help reconnect the divided peninsula just as its name implies. Even from a few days ahead of the summit, the bridge has been under high security, with a total of some 2,500 security officials being deployed to guard the area. Along the 900-meter bridge, a long line of South Korean flags dotted the side of the road, and more than 1,500 unification flags have been installed along three kilometers of the road at the southern end of the bridge. Now that official discussions have ended, most areas near the border are expected to return to calm. Although the bridge connecting the two Koreas will remain closed for now, many hope that today's talks between the two leaders will open the gateway for a brighter future on the Korean peninsula. Kim Mo-gyan, Arirang News, Unification Bridge.